Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am gonna share with you my tote bag collection. I have a few that's from high end fashion house, and I have a few that's mid range priced from the mid range priced brand. And so today I will go over them and I will show you one by one and I will share with what are the pros and cons, what I liked about each item and if it's worth your money or not. So let's get started. So first one I will talk about is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull size MM. And this is the World Tour collection, and which I just got. And this one is my Long Champ size large top. This is a special edition called Birdcage. And I really like the pink, so I will also talk about this one. So next one here is my Burberry top. It's in classic print. And then I have my Louis Vuitton Bellevue GM here, and it's in Verne. You can see how shiny this is. And it's also an old one. And final but not least is my favorite Chanel tote. This is Chanel Cambon size in large. And now I will start go over them in details. Let's continue. So here is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull MM World Tour collection. I just got it not very long ago. So I cannot really tell you about the wear and tear. But what I can tell you is it is large enough to fit my laptop. What I love about Neverfull is this is my MacBook 15 inch. And let's see how it can fit and see. It's very roomy. So there's no problem. I can fit in my 15 inch laptop easily. And I don't feel uncomfortable holding this. Because the that leather here um, actually is very comfortable on my shoulder as well. And I really like the look that is on my shoulder and it's sitting there perfectly. But the downside of this is that it doesn't have a zipper. So some people um, I worry that the things will spill out, uh, it's not secure, people can get into their bag easily. So what I would suggest is you can get a bag organizer, use some um, small pouch, small bag, or like for me, I have a laptop sleeve that I use to put my laptop in so it won't move around in my bag that much because there's a clips and the laptop will be banging on the clip and you will hear the metal um, bang on each other so I usually would put it in a sleeve and once I have a sleeve in my bag then uh, stuff won't move that much another concern people usually have is about the handle. It's very thin. They don't know if it's gonna dig into your shoulder. Uh, actually, I think because of the leather, leather, it actually mold to the shape of my shoulder and it just sit there. Um, both handle will be on my shoulder. It doesn't slip away like other tote bag usually will happen to me. Like you know what I mean, like slide it off. So actually, I feel very comfortable even having my 15 inch laptop in the bag. So I think um, the thin handle doesn't bother me, but it really depends on people as well. But what I like is also it's very easy for me to just take 
stuff from the thought. Um, it's a uh, good and bad because it doesn't have a zipper, so it's very easy to get into it. Another problem uh, people might have is because this is a world tour collection, the print is not protected under any coat. I mean the world tour sticker print or the patch. So as time goes by, it might start to chip. I know that for um, Louis Vuitton's other edition, when they have a special print over the canvas, over the time it will start chipping. So it won't be perfect as it is right now. This is also um, what I, one of my concern. But since I haven't started using it, I really don't know if um, Louis Vuitton fixed this issue or not. So just keep in mind if you are getting something that's having a special print over um, the canvas. And also the uh, leather handle here, it's like the Damien Eben. So uh, people used to have cracking issue with this kind of black leather because it's very stiff so um, you might crack you might see cracking but I have no idea that if this is will happen to this new model because I heard that Louis Vuitton has fixed that issue and for the latest model from Damien Eben they don't have the cracking issue so I guess I have to wait and see if this would happen to my world tour never full. So another thing I really like is you can tuck in the two sides to create a more formal look. It's a total different feeling that now is more formal. So um, never full in my opinion is very versatile. You can create a totally different feeling by just tucking the two sides. And you can also like losing the two side and wear it originally and it's very casual so my next one here is my long champ size large you can see it has a long handle so it's very easy to put on the shoulder this is a special edition called bird cage what i what, why I bought it at first is just because that I really like the print and the color combination. And in the back, there is a heart. And you can see um, the black, I don't know what's that called, but it's sole onto it. And this is a very good size and it's super light. And this is foldable as well. So if you are going travel, you can fold it, fold it easily and take it with you. But usually I don't fold them. And also um, they have a very detailed design zipper pull. It has the long champ logo on it. And as time goes by, it's still um, shiny. So this is a, at least a two year old bag. And it's very easily uh, clean. I have once used detergent to wash it. I hand washed them. I didn't put them into washing machine because I'm afraid that washing machine will damage it. But I just wipe it clean with detergent and water and it's very new now. The only concern for me is the wear and tear so look at the corner I have been only using it for a year but the corner um, seems like it has starting to uh, have holes and so I kind of stopped using it or um, just put very light stuff in this I don't know if you can see But the corner, yeah, starts to break. So I 
seldom use this bag now. So what I like about this bag is it's very cute, very light, and it's very affordable. So this bag, and also the quality is decent, although um, it starts to have wear and tear, so it's not as good as Louis Vuitton or um, I would say my Chanel Tots that I will talk about later. And here is my uh, laptop, 15 inch. See how easily it can fit in. And, but the other concern is that it will keep, the shoulder strap will keep sliding off my shoulder. So I constantly have to uh, put the handle back to my shoulder. So that was a little bit annoying when I was carrying the bag. But other than that, um, I also like this bag. Um, it's very wearable, uh, meaning that you can take it to anywhere and in any weather because it's waterproof and the handle is dark brown so it doesn't get dirty. And the whole bag, you can clean it very easily. And with the zipper and a bottom here, it's a very, very secure. So I definitely think if you find a pattern or color that you like with Longchamp, you can get it. it. It's not very expensive and it's fun and casual. So I think it's money uh, well spent on the Longchamp bag. So now let me tell you about my Burberry bag, which I'm really disappointed in this bag. I don't use, use it a lot. What I like about this bag is their pattern. It is in their classic pattern. And I really like the print and the combination of um, the pat pattern leather. I thought it's patent, but I don't know. Maybe it is not because it's really bad quality. So let me tell you why. So. As time goes by, you see um, here it has a lot of wrinkles and it's become very obvious on the shiny leather. And also see the structure is kind of out of shape. And the strap here is not straight, it's curling up, which in my opinion make this bag really ugly now. And the corner, look at this, it's rubbing off the shiny coating. And honestly, I didn't use this bag a lot and I don't abuse my bags. Although it has feet under the bag, but it doesn't really help. Look how bad this become. I don't think I used the bag more than 10, 10 times. And the cam oh the handle it has black spots on it. I don't know how it got onto it. So the back is quite roomy and it has zipper. Um, it's still shiny on the leather and the canvas still very clean. So let me see. Um, so I have my laptop in 15 inch here. I cannot fit it in the bag, but I think I can fit in my 13 inch MacBook. So when I put in my 13 inch, I still have plenty of space left. So overall, this bag is a good size. Um, the handle is big enough. It's, it can fit over shoulder very easily. However, um, it's the quality is not up to standard. What I love the most is the canvas, but I won't recommend anyone uh, for this bag. And now let me tell you about one of my favorite totes. It is Bellevue GM Vernie in the color violet. What I love most about this tote is this is made in Vernie. It's just because it's so beautiful um, just looking at it. Um, 
So vernis is real leather and with the shimmering coating on the top. So under different lights, you will see um, a little bit different color. And it's very shiny and have this shimmering effect under lighting. So um, in my opinion, LV did the best for the patent leather in vernis. Um, so all the fashion houses have their version of patent leather. So vernis is Louis Vuitton's patent leather. You can see what I love is that it has embossed um, LV pattern on the back. And it's very light and maintain the structure very well. So I've been using this bag for several years and it still look really new. I don't have marks or scuffs around the bottom. So I'm very happy about the quality of the bag. And I think compared with um, Umpron leather, this is um, easier to clean and maintain. I took it out in the rain. It has no problem. I can just wipe it clean. Um, so I really enjoy carrying this bag. So now I'm gonna share with you the last tote I have here today. It's the Chanel Cambon tote. This is size large. And you can see mine is in all black with the quilted leather and it has a very big pocket at the back. And this is such a beautiful handbag. Um, I really like the shape and the look of very classic Chanel. Um, also black is, um, it goes with a lot of outfit and I like that the logo is on the side is not like in your face uh, logo like in the middle they have some that is in the middle and it's in black so it's very subtle and um, they have the logo in other color like white or pattern leather um, and those are very nice too, but I like that it's um, not very standout logo. And it has a zipper in bright, in pink, kind of like bright pink. And the size is, um, is a very good size. Right now I'm currently using this bag, so it's a little bit messy. But I like the pop of color inside with um, very old season classic look of black and the handle is very soft and I think the design of the handle is very um, detailed like you can see is uh, two handle and actually how do I say it's like two stripes become one handle and it's very soft and it sits on my shoulder nicely I never feel too heavy to have my laptop in the bag on my shoulder. And I think this is a very smart design because usually uh, if it's very thin, it hurts your shoulder. So when it has two stri stripes that make one handle, you have the thickness, but it looks really um, feminine that it has like thinner stripes and all together that's four and it's a very um, unique looking very nice design that I really like and when I hold it it doesn't hurt my hand as well and I've been using this for many years and this uh, design has been discontinued but you can see the whole bag still hold up really well and I this is the only tote that it has a 
pocket on the back. So I usually put my cell phone in the pocket, and it's very easy for me to grab my phone or my lipstick. And it's also very accessible, even on the shoulder. So you can see on the bottom, it has the、um, five feet little feet or stand. And so、um, the leather on the bottom won't touch the ground.、Um, on the corner, I have some marks or scuffs. You can see, and it's only on this corner you can see the usage of the bag. Otherwise, it's still very good overall. Not much of scratch anywhere on the. Leather. In the leather is very soft and buttery, and I really like the look on my shoulder, and I think it's the most feminine or classic looking tote that I have. And also,、um, in the case that I want to be on the radar, I can wear it on the other side. And no one would know、uh, what bag this is. It's just a very cute and very、um, feminine-looking tote. And the size is good as well. And so let me show you how I usually put my MacBook. So this is MacBook 13 inch, and actually because of the leather, it's quite thick. I don't feel、um, insecure having my laptop without、um, the laptop protective sleeve in my bag, and I usually just carry it without、um, any protection. And it doesn't move a lot in the tote. So this is my favorite tote. Thank you for watching my video. See you next time. Bye.